Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today is a super exciting day because we finally have the Poco F4 GT here in the studio. Now bear in mind that the last Poco F3 was around for quite a long time now and it's been killing the competition. So Poco is back with a brand new flagship and you can see it in the form of this Poco F4. For GT. Now in today's video, we're going to be covering everything that you might need to know about this guy right here, all the specifications and how does it feel like to use because I've been using it for almost one week now and it's been a very, very nice experience. Just a quick uh, tip for you over there. All right, so now let's move on and talk about the most important thing here in the room and that is about the price. Now, pricing has always been one of Poco's strongest you know, factors for purchasing their smartphones and this time again, Poco has just done it with a new price point uh, for the Poco F. 4 GT over here that is actually two configurations. You have an 8 slash 128 and you have a higher spec 12 slash 256. Now pricing wise, uh, in terms of the flash sale price, uh, the 8 slash 128 is going for RM1999, whereas the 12 slash 256 is going for 2199. Guys, this is exceptionally low for a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 powered device in just, just today, guys. It's a really, really crazy price point. I was super shocked when I saw it because this is hands down at the moment, the most affordable Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 device that you can actually purchase today and by a far margin. Now, bear in mind that the next one in line I can remember is actually the Motorola H30 Pro or something like that that is going for 2699 And of course, we also have even higher up the Samsung S22 series and that goes for above 4,000 ringgit here in Malaysia. So, for this to cost under 2,000 ringgit, guys, that's almost half the price of this S22 Plus, this is actually a really crazy deal. So just in terms of the price, you have nothing much to complain about there. Still a very exceptional price, but let's talk about how this device actually feels like to use. Well, we're gonna begin, of course, with the design, but before I begin, I'm just hoping that all of you can just drop a like and sub to the channel, that would be so much appreciated. Thank you so much. Now let us talk about that design. Uh, in terms of the back panel here, you have a very cool design here. It looks like a sports car and it just looks very gamified because uh, you know I guess this device is also targeted at gamers. Uh, we have this very nice strip down in the middle. You have that tiny uh, lightning kind of uh, icon at the side of the camera bump. And on the camera bump itself, there is actually two strips of LEDs that you know, uh, it's not very bright, but you do have that very fancy See, you know, lighting and all that on the camera bump itself. Quite cool there. If you move down the device itself and looking at the bottom here, you notice that the frame consists of the Type-C part. You also have that stereo speakers at the bottom. Poco is calling this the quad speaker setup. Uh, there are actually two holes at the top and two holes at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's actually four individual speakers, but according to you know, Poco, they say it's a quad system. So anyways, sound wise, I have to tell you guys, this is one of the loudest smartphones that I've ever heard in the market to date. It is crazy loud and those quad speakers setup is just uh, is just crazy guys. If you're playing games just using these speakers here, you might be you know disturbing people around you but you will get a super immersive experience. Now enough of that speakers. If you look at the top here, we still have that infrared uh, control if any of you guys are using that. Now on the left, you do have your volume rocker and of course the SIM card tray. Now SIM card tray wise, it is a strictly dual SIM SIM card tray. That means you cannot put in a micro SD so make sure you pick your storage choices correctly because you won't be able to expand that via micro SD. Alright so moving on to the right this is also where it gets a little bit busy on the sides. Uh, we do have our power button and bear in mind that this is a, a fingerprint scanner as well so you have that there and of course you have those uh, triggers on the sides here as well for if those times where you actually want to play games and you have those quick shortcuts. Very, very nice touch there by Poco. Now, it's also worth mentioning that these triggers on the side here, you can just uh, you know, hit the switch to actually launch them and you can actually use that buttons there to activate a different shortcut key. So for myself here, I do have the bottom button here activated to launch the camera. You can actually allow it to launch like, you know, your voice assistant, uh, launch the flashlight. So it's actually three uh, different kind of shortcut keys you have there, the top trigger, the bottom trigger, as well as your volume rocker that you can use to set shortcuts. Cards. Very, very cool stuff there. Very nice design, guys. I love this design. What do you think of it? Um, I do have to mention as well that it's slightly heavy as well. It's about 210 grams. So definitely not a very lightweight phone, but you're having this very cool design here in hand. So I have absolutely nothing to complain about that there. Now, moving on, let's talk a little bit about the display because this is a very interesting display. I would say that it's quite nice. You do get a 6.67 inch 1080p 
AMOLED display that refreshes at 120 hertz. Uh, it also comes with 480 hertz of touch sampling rate. That means it's going to be buttery smooth. Uh, apart from that, maximum brightness levels is approximately 800 nits. So you might be wondering if that is enough outside under the sun. But here in sunny Malaysia, I've actually tested it out and the screen outdoors has no issues with visibility. Now, how does it actually feel like to use the display? Well, all I can say that it's a very bright display. The contrast levels, saturation levels are actually very, very interesting. Very, very good here. Uh, the colors just pop on there. And if you're going to use this phone to play a lot of games, watching movies, uh, YouTube and all that, you will definitely enjoy the colors coming out of this very saturated display. Uh, apart from that, the smoothness levels, you have that 120 hertz. So obviously everything is going to be very smooth. You don't have to worry about that there as well. I think even for gaming, it also creates that very, very nice and quick experience just on this very excellent display. So uh, I would say that overall, just in terms of the display wise, uh, thumbs up over there to Poco. Now moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about the power because power is all about uh, this device here, the Poco F4 GT. And for that, like I mentioned earlier on, you did get that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. You also have your LPDDR5 RAM. That means it is the fast RAM, uh, the best one actually. And of, apart from that, you also have your UFS 3.1 storage. So transferring files to and from the device should be fairly quick. So all that put together makes it for a very fast and snappy experience here on the Poco F4 GT. In terms of gaming, now gaming is also very important here. Uh, I know it's definitely able to play your Genshin Impact, your PUBG, Mobile Legends, all at the highest graphic level settings. Uh, in fact, me personally, I play a lot of Mobile Legends like I've said on many, many videos now. And on this device, I was able to go ultra both on the refresh rate as well as the uh, graphics itself. So it's a very, very crazy good kind of experience in terms of the gaming here. I was able to hit 120 FPS uh, consistently during the game itself. So definitely a very smooth experience. Now, some of you might be worried about the heat being protruded out by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Well, Poco says that they have put in this liquid cool technology 3.0 to help keep the temperatures down. But again, honestly speaking, I've been feeling quite a fair bit of heat coming from the back here. But hopefully, you know, Poco will fix this in a future up, uh, update or something like that to, you know, just optimize things here and there. Uh, apart from that, otherwise just using it on the daily, I think there is no issues there. Again, it is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, so the best kind of performance we can get. I'm going to show you a very quick Geekbench score side by side with the S22 Plus from Samsung. You can see that the scores are literally almost identical here between both devices. All right, so now moving on, let's talk a little bit about the cameras because we can't omit the cameras, right? Well, uh, Poco has been, you know, they've been known for not really the best cameras out there. And in this case, uh, you do see some pretty uh, fair improvements. You have a triple camera setup at the back. This is being led by the 64 megapixel Sony IMX686 main sensor. You also have an eight megapixel ultra wide and you have a two megapixel macro lens. I'm going to show you guys a couple of sample photos here that you can see. All these photos are unedited. They are right off the camera itself. So you guys can judge for yourselves whether this is the kind of quality that you are okay with. Personally, I think these kind of photos are still very good for sharing on your social media unless you are really, really keen on photography and you know, you want the best photography phone out there. Uh, you know, this one here actually takes some pretty decent shots. Otherwise, I think that the cameras at the back here are actually still very usable. All right, so last but not least, uh, we got to talk a bit about the battery in the back. Now, naturally, we do have a 4,700 mAh battery in here, and this is actually helped a lot by that fast charging speed. Now, if you're going to be gaming a lot, naturally, you will be seeing the battery dropping a little bit here and there. So with the fast charging, the 120 watt fast charger that came in the box uh, is actually right here. Uh, this is actually charging up the device very, very fast, guys. It does zero to 100% in just 17 minutes. And if you are gaming, they will reduce the speed of the charging to reduce the amount of heat, and you will actually be able to do zero to 100% in 27 minutes. So again, this is just one of the uh, fastest charging speeds that you can get in any smartphone today uh, right now. Uh, apart from that, I do want to highlight one nice touch by uh, Poco. Uh, they actually gave us this sort of like L-shaped uh, Type-C cable, which makes it charging on the device, very, very comfortable because you can use it while, you know, uh, gaming. So I think it's a very nice touch to have this uh, particular cable, this kind of L cable in the box. Hopefully we will see that more often in other manufacturers as well. All right, guys, so that's pretty much uh, wrapped up my very quick uh, first impressions, or I should say a very quick review on the Poco F4 GT. Again, at the price of under 2,000 ringgit, it really is a no-brainer if you're looking for the best, uh, you know, the most value for money smartphone that carries a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. 
Overall, if you are not a gamer, I still strongly recommend this device as well because you're going to be experiencing the fastest performance, the smoothest performance on this Poco F4 GT. You have the crazy loudspeakers again if you like to watch a lot of movies for your entertainment. Uh, you also have a decent set of triple cameras at the back and of course, not to forget that super fast 120 watt, uh, you know, crazy fast charging. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you did like today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. If you want to find out more information or you want to purchase the device, uh, you can find the links down below. Uh, those are the official links by Poco. So that should be the, the right way to purchase it. All right, with that said, thank you for watching till the end. I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.